Have you ever wanted to beat up Santa Claus while playing as Jesus? If you said no, then yeah, you're probably normal. Let me introduce to you Fight of Gods. Fight of Gods is literally what it sounds like. It is characters from mythology and religion in a shitly made fighting game. And I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm saying that as a like perk of the game. It's really stupid. And you can just beat them up. <laughs> that's that's the end of it. It's a fighting game. The character list is a little small, but what they do have is still some pretty good names. Amaterasu, the Japanese sun goddess. Anubis, the Egyptian god of the underworld. Athena, the Greek god of wisdom, craft, and warfare. Exclusive to the arcade edition. The Liar is actually based off of Belial from Hebrew texts. Buddhism's Buddha. Why did I even say it like that? It's named after it. Fun fact, he was named Zen in the PS4 version, because, you know, people whine a lot. Freya, the Norse goddess of... God damn, stop making them so OP. Love, beauty, fertility... Oh my God! War, gold, and I know I'm gonna mispronounce this, Seder. Seder? I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't speak Norse. Just being able to predict and influence the future. That's basically what it is. Guan Gong, the Chinese god of wealth. Jesus, from Christianity, obviously, who actually also had his name changed in the PS4 version. I don't know what's going on at Sony, but his name was changed to Saint. The only non-religious character, Lamia, from Lamia's Game Room. Mazu, the Chinese sea goddess. Moses of Christianity, who also had his name changed on PS4 to Wisdom. Odin from Norse mythology, the war god, as well as Thor's father. Santa. That was my Smash announcer impression. Yeah, I know it's dog shit. Zif, the Norse goddess of grain and fertility. Susanu, the Japanese god of storms. For all the short kings out there, Tutagong, the earth god of Taoism. And last, but of course not least, Zeus, Greek god of sky. Now, if the name Fight of Gods sounds familiar to you, that's because it is made by Digital Crafter. And if that also sounds familiar, it's because it is made by the people who made Fight of Animals and Fight of Steel. If you haven't played Fight of Animals, by the way, please go play it. It's so fun. <laughs> and I've already alluded that there is an arcade and a PS4 version, but what other versions are there? Well, there's a Nintendo Switch version. Yes, you can play this on the go. It is amazing. And you can also get it on the PC. Depending on when you watch this, there is the Steam Summer Sale going on, so you can get that at a distance. Count. And of course, since you know religion, it has been banned in two countries, which I thought would be more honestly. Only Malaysia and Singapore. The rest of this is mainly just going to be me showing off stupid things in the game. So of course, I will credit the people who got the footage. And I said this before, this is not meant to make fun of religion. It's like a satire. Take it as a joke. With that said, let's look at this. Hey, also, any voice lines sound weird? It's because they're Taiwanese. So yeah, not English actors. <laughs> You want to see Jesus' final smash? <laughs> Buddha falling over is just so goddamn funny. They just they animate it so well. I genuinely can't tell if this is offensive or not. <laughs> this one's just really funny. <laughs> If you're wondering, yes, Moses does fight with the Ten Commandments. Ho oh, ho! Oh, Merry Christmas! I'm back for the people. Here's an official ad from them. Oh, and this. not my usual kind of content but i want to experiment with more than long form wwe videos so maybe something like this in the future again i don't know testing it out bye also for the love of god why did they make an exclusive character to the arcade edition <laughs>